Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me at the weekend. I have got a video for you full of all sorts of gifts and goodies and treats and things that I've received last weekend. Now, um, my voice is croaky because last weekend, which where the point in time I'm filming, only a couple of days ago, I had an event for my team and it was Friday evening was um, the leadership drinks and canapes reception that I put on for my leader group where we had recognition and I had gifts and goodies and I announced some things to them. And then all day Saturday and Sunday was crafting and games and raffles and prizes and laughing and all so much more. And um, yes, obviously, because it was it was my event for the team, I am quite hoarse now. Um, but on Friday afternoon, I was invited to an event that one of my local ladies to where our venue was. She put it on for her team. So that's Halsey Lou, who was slim and stylish, she invited me to her event on Friday afternoon. So that was lovely. So there were swaps and things involved in there. I've got some duplicates that are going to come out throughout the video, just where I've packed the boxes, the duplicates aren't together. So many of my team are very sweet and they bring little extras for the boys and Chris. So there will be duplicates that come out, but just based on the fact that they were given to me as a, as a set and then where I've packed them in my cases there they're not as, as a set anymore and I've kind of bundled everything together so I'm going to come with these bits first. So this is from Halsey's event and I'm going to bring these out here because there's all sorts in here and I think there were seven or eight of us so including the bags so chic. And all of us got were given bags that had that were all sort of stamping up colours, which was lovely. And they all had different things on. Um, and that one had washi tape in it. Oh, yeah, I've got cats being awkward. Some pens. Look at that. Love that beautiful key ring. And I've got I've got a kitty cat, little kitty cat in there. And we we you know we did projects as well. And I made a card. This one, it's the first time I've coloured it in, so I'm going to set that to one side and I'm going to bring that out to you another time. And then I've got these from Halsey. So those were from Karen Tilly. This was Karen Bradbury. Um, these are from Halsey. And I undid the bow and I couldn't get it together again. In, <laughs> I couldn't get it together neatly again. Well, what I couldn't understand is how have I got two wrong leng length tails when it's the right length so anyway so in here look at that that is so pretty a box perfect for a candle in a glass holder so i have those and i have a card in here and this is from that is from halsey as well i love this i haven't used these i must use those and then from angela cute little card and some raspberry and dragon fruit tea I wonder what that tastes like and this one I don't remember what's in here oh I do it's you oh I love that smell love that smell and over here this is from uh, Kay from Kay Meller, who we are all trying to convince to make notebooks. I think we might have possibly succeeded. Um, at least I hope we have succeeded. Because <laughs> she makes the most amazing book-bound ones as well. So those are all from Friday. And then here, um, this is from the gorgeous Sophie in my team. So Sophie flew over from France and she also gave me... <laughs> Some very nice Ladgery um, macarons, but I ate them. So, but look at that. It's a beautiful key ring with the macarons on it. Amazing. And then her note, her team notebook, notebook Je suis un petit papier, which is on my little paper bit, and that's her team mascot and logo. And where did the, I don't remember where these came from now. This is one of the Karens who was at Halsey's event. So cute. They're lovely. Um, right, so, and they are big boxes full of stuff. 
There's, it's jam packed, so I'm going to go reasonably quickly through, and I won't try and do all of the names. So I'm here. Oh, look at that! I haven't even opened it, but I can. Oh, erasable pens! I love erasable pens and Pilot Friction ones as well. Look, I have one over here, but they're not the clickable ones. Oh, brilliant! And this I know is from Tina. She's so naughty. Pop that back in there. Love those. And also, I do know that this is also from Tina. Um, but she made me a beautiful bag. And she's popped all sorts of goodies in here for the boys. And so there's a whole bunch of her swaps in here. So there's extras of her swaps, but so there's five of her swaps as extras for the children. And I think there is one for me somewhere around as well for the children and Chris. But she'd also made these for Chris and the children as well, which is just lovely. So sweet. They, they are so spoiled, my children. <laughs> so they're gorgeous. I'm going to pop those over there. And then Sally, who I was with on Friday, made all of these too. Again for Chris and the children. And actually, I don't know what's inside, so I'm going to open Chris's one so we can have a peek. So Sally is Sally's turn. Oh, full of sweets. Full of sweeties. I don't know how to make these. I'm going to have to investigate. Not four-sided ones, anyway. I don't. I've made five and six, so yeah, definitely be checking out Sally's blog, Sally Stampers. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, I don't know who this is from. This is from Sim. Love this. I'm totally, totally doesn't need any extra decoration. I've, I've not decorated extra myself. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh God, the smell is it's amazing. Oh my goodness, dark berries candle. Oh, Sim, you naughty girl. Lovely girl. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've said this paper doesn't need any extra decoration in it. And that's me making projects and now receiving one. I'm, I'm yeah. All gorgeous. I don't know who this one's from. I don't know who it's from. No, I. Oh my goodness! I love Bert's bees. Oh, oh, there's no label on it, and I was getting quite a lot all thrust at me at the same time. Oh, there's no label. But it's from somebody, somebody definitely very talented in our team. Um, I've got two more, and I know one of these it contains vouchers. And I don't know which one. I have no idea what's in any of these. I saved them to open here. <gasps> oh, look! Rainbow colour pencils! Oh, look at that! Do you think people know I like a rainbow? They're gorgeous. They are amazing. And I love the box. I love the fact that we can make the perfect size box for our stuff. Um, look at that curl. Beautiful curl on that. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to have to snip that to get it off. Oh, blimey, that's a great big bar of chocolate. Maybe this doesn't contain... Oh, it does contain... It does contain vouchers to be cashed in. So I'm just going to slip that out of the way because it, tell, it tells me who it's from and what they'd like. Um, that's a lot of vouchers they've cashed in. Bravo to Tracy, who earned all those vouchers. Um, and look at that great big bar of chocolate. Yummy, yummy. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> You're all trying to make me fat. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I will happily accept that. This is all hand stamped. So Lilo Crafts is uh, Lillian Worth. Saw these and thought of you. Oh, look at them, the rainbow napkins. 
I'm a real napkin fan. She knows me very well. <laughs> I am a napkin fan. And I love the fact that, again, it's a bespoke, beautiful handbag. Perfect from those. But also, and everybody came up to me and went, who made that box? And I'm going to bring it out now. So this is the box. I'm hoping you can see it. So loads of the team, because they sat on, on the, the front table I had so I could wear all my notes and things were. And so many people came up and said, who, who made that? So let me open it for you. So this drops down, it's all been magnetised and it opens like this. And in here are six incredible gifts for all of the children in the family and they've got all their names on it so you can see Jack, Luke, Chris, Sam, Oliver and Jacob. So I'm going to pull mine out and open it so, you, so, so that they get to open their own. Isn't that just remarkable what's gone into that? So yeah, please do go and check it out. But let me open this one. So this one is my one with my name on it. And I love all of this. I have no idea how she's made it. It's amazing. It looks like a, a total hybrid of about eight different styles of box and she's put them all together to make this beautiful one. Because the opening is a bit like the ones from Sally, but it's it's all up the sides and there's six sides on it. And oh, I can see in there, I, I don't, let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? Chocolates from Hotel Chocolat, which I absolutely love because I live in Cambridge and they're made here. Tiddly pots. Oh, she's naughty. But look at that yet again. And I'm going to pop that to one side. But another bespoke box handmade by incredible crafters. What a talent. Okay, let me scooch those over here because actually this was Linda's actual swap. And... I'm not sure how well you can see and I, I, I want to open that but I want to leave it together. So this is folding up and it is held only by a tie but there's little boxes in here. Do you know what? I am going to open it because I want you to see the full effect. Because each of these, there's four totally individual boxes. Each with a sweetie inside. And all four of them open independently one for one another. And if I tell you that there were 47 of us at our event, and pretty much everybody made enough swaps for everybody, she's made almost 50 of these. That is incredible. Handmade by Lilo Crafts. Just amazing. Incredible. I really have no words. Okay, let me move on. So these two, this is from Kayla, who um, was one of the designers. So I always um, invite people in the team to do one of the make and take projects. Now there will be full details on this on her blog Saturday. Today, tomorrow, I don't know. I, I'm filming this ahead with slightly fuzzy head. But this was what she taught everybody how to make. And I need to throw some shadow just for a minute so you can see all of the detail. <laughs> my pocket's vibrating and so is my wrist. Let's see if you can see all of the detail. It's just incredible because not only is it all of this beautiful heart shape, but there is a little drawer in there filled with confetti. And the whole thing is made from one die set which is the stitched hearts or the uh, pair with the be mine stamp set she also made a christmas version for us to see so she gave me hers to bring home along with the beautiful chocolates okay let me scooch that over the way and I thought, <gasps> funny story about these so julie gave me these and um my boys adore lemon sherbets 
um, also known as Sherbet Lemons, Lemon Sherbet, Sherbet Lemon, same thing. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know that Dumbledore, um, that's his secret password to get into his office. So our family, for years and years and years, have called them Dumbledores. So Julie handed me these and she said, I bought some Dumbledores for your boys. Clearly I've told the story a few times. So she said, I bought some Dumbledores for your boys and I just love that. <laughs> Okay, so I've got, oh, I've got, so, oh, so this is Bex, so Bex was poorly, unfortunately, but she did, she did get her swaps to us, so there's chocolates in here, hoping you're feeling better, Bex, we missed you, but she got our swaps to us, so we collected all of the swaps for her, this, <laughs> this. so if you, if you haven't been on the internet recently, where have you been? Have you not heard of Jill and Jezgo Crafting? And every Thursday they share projects and they are the funniest pair and duo ever. And Jez had got me this. She saw this in Paper Chase. She said, I saw it and I knew I had to get it for you. And I just love it. And she said, I saved up my last piece of this paper. So this was in the spring summer catalog. She said, I saved my last piece to make it for you. So I love that. <laughs> Funny thing, so oh, I've got a swaps. I'm into swaps territory now. So I've got some duplicates of these ones. So these are from Helen. So Helen and I, I have known Helen since I was three years old when my mum and dad moved to an area and started going to a new church, and Helen was there. And so, and I, I possibly. It could well possibly be 20 years since I've seen her. But inside there, actually I'm going to snip this one off. Because this is the, the whoops, tiny keepsake. Inside here are sweeties. Yum scrum. Lots of sweeties. So there's extras. She brought extras um, for the children too. So there's all of those. And that's a swap. Um, I've got stocks here with chocolates inside. I'm looking. I'm trying to look through a pair of glasses. More swaps. So this is a post-it holder. And when Louise gave it to me, she said it was very nearly cased from yours, but I apparently had weird sized post-it notes, so she had to change the measurements. But yeah, Tic Tacs in there. Love this. Who's this one? Oh, Karen, who I saw on Friday too. And I think there's a whole bundle of these floating about for the children. These are Sally, so Sally Stampers. And I'm, I'm fairly certain these have been on her blog by the time you're seeing it. Oh, for goodness sake. Hello, Sorrel. I can do nothing. <laughs> nothing privately. There's chocolates. Oh, after, after eights in here boys are going to love those we're a real after eight family so she gave me some extras for the children so yeah like i said i'm pretty certain they've been on her blog i've got oh look little candy canes and with the seriously <laughs> go and sit on the punches that's all she wants to do she wants to get my window so there we go it's... she sits on my punches crazy cat hold on I'll take a picture of you and you can see. That's what she wants to do. She wants to sit on my punches. Anyway, yeah, brightly gleaming. Love that. Uh, what have got in here? Oh, look. Oh, look at those, a tiny little sewing kit. That is so cute. That really is cute. How sweet. Perfect if, if you've got visitors. Right, I've got a whole bunch here that are the same. So, I suspect these are extras for the boys, but look at that tiny little stitched heart on that. Can you see that? There's a bundle of these in here. I don't know what's inside. These are so tiny. Somebody's got very nimble fingers. Look at that little love hearts. They're so gorgeous. 
There's no name on these. Do you know what? If anybody wants to know who's made something that's appearing here, um, just leave a comment and I'm going to let... The, oh, forget, Fennel's here now. Hello. Hello. You've not been on video for a while. I've just filmed a video that you're going to see in a week's time and she appeared in that. I thought she'd wandered off. Yeah, seriously? Come on, sit on my lap. I've got more curvy keepsakes here, and this one's got a little candle inside. Oh, whoops, candle inside. Sorry, yes, if you want to know anything about any of the projects made, just leave a comment. I'll let the team know, and they will know to come and have a look. And, um, you know, they'll ask questions as to who it is. And, sorry, you ask questions, and if they identify, you know, if you've asked about their project, they'll identify themselves. Love that. So this is Je This is Jill. This is the other half of Jill and Jez go crafting, and she's made a sort of like a little traveller's note. But yes, hello, Fennel. She's staring up at me, going, "I love you." I know. She's very old. She's fifteen and a half. I've got Sophie made these, and there's a whole bundle of them for the children. And for the children and myself, and she said. When you've eaten the chocolates and the car caramel, the bookmark is left over. And it's lovely that we've got swaps in French. So we had two of our ladies from Germany came over and Sophie from France as well. Satina so and Ivy flew in from Germany and Sophie from France. So it's lovely to have international swaps. Okay, this one's going to make you laugh. So, so Debbie had only, so, and she's Debsy Daisy. And she'd just got back off holiday and she said, I didn't get a chance to make swaps. But here's the funny thing. Our team motto is Poodler's Rock. <clears throat> and we actually have the hashtag. So do search hashtag Poodler's Rock. So she said, I had to buy rock. So she has. So I chose the cherry, cherry cola flavour. It was just so funny. And she had this great big handful of rock. It was ever so funny. Right, I do believe there's a few of these around. Mm -hmm. So again, extras for my lovely boys. Look at this little mini explosion boxes, but they're in their own little tray. That's really cute. Seriously, I love anything in miniature. It's the whole doll's house effect, isn't it? Anything in miniature, if it's if you see it real life size, and then you see a miniature version, you have to have it. This is Julie who bought me the lemon sherbets that I do remember because she always does amazing things like this and yes there's more Dumbledores in here and a little chocolate bar yummy and those lovely little bells I love those you could spot a Julie project a mile off she made us all um she made cakes one year teeny teeny top oh for goodness <laughs> oh all right Phil oh okay she made teeny, teeny, tiny little muffins one year. They were all gluten-free. And she put them in a special case. Just brilliant. Kay made these. Look at this. I love the black Christmas tree. How cool is that? And it's all origami in here. Origami and one tiny little bit of glue to hold it together. Little post, little pencil pouch. Um, oh, I've got more duplicates. Have I brought these? I don't think I brought these out already. It's me, Fennel. It's me. She is very old, and I think probably her eyesight isn't so brilliant anymore. Now, there's I'm top. Okay. I don't know what you're comping at. Is it maybe because Sorrel is sat there? Yes. So there is, oh, when she said the recipe is in here, the we haven't done anything, Fennel. <laughs> I can put my hands, so it's the recipe on how to put the project together. I, I understand that. So this one is Sim. It's a Sim who did the, um, with the Yankee candle over there, but these are lovely. I know, you're grumpy, aren't you? Did you want lunch or something? I've just fed you. Okay. What else? I've got more in here. Look at this, more candles. Oh, I love candles. Ooh. 
that's a sort of buttery vanilla sort of smell lovely and what's this one oh i've got another post-it note holder here this is Corrine. So Corrine did, she did a set of, uh, she did a display project and hopefully I've got the photos uploaded by the time this comes out. Three of the ladies, I bought a suite, an entire suite for them and asked them to create some display projects. Corrine did one of those, but actually Corrine and Jez did a two-hander on how to use your um, phones for filming and photography. This is Tina's from right at the beginning and actually I didn't open it so I don't know what's in here. But she does, she always makes for us, she always has scissor charms and this one says dream. So I'm going to take that off. Um, so every year we always have scissor charms from her, it's now a thing. And I will get that on there a little neater. But now I have a scissor charm. And then in here... Oh, there's chocolate in here. Yum. I thought it's lovely to have chocolate from outside the UK. I would say too. You know, the UK's got pretty awesome chocolate. This is Angelina. How cool is this? This is... What are you grumpy at this? They're not here, Fennel. How cool is that? <laughs> That's brilliant. A little Rubik's Cube inside the box. I love that. That is so cute. This is Angelina, Intertwined Designs. Okay, and then I've got, another, I've got a card here, swap. I'm just, I don't know what is she's grumping, I'm gonna pop her on the floor. It's a gorgeous daisies here. And, oh, so this one has been stamped. This is wood that has been stamped with one of our background stamps just beautiful. I'm running out of space. And then Kaz came and made these and she made again 50 of these, well best part of 50. So Kaz is storm stamping and she came with her upline and it was amazing and it was wonderful to have them both qualified to come to my leadership event but she made these for everybody and they have got they're stamped, die, uh, punched. Well, actually, do you know what? I don't know if you can see that's heat embossed, punched, and then they've got all rhinestones all over. Beautiful. I have some Badder Breathe, which is a Welsh, a special Welsh cake from Wendy, who is in my team and lives in North Wales, which is where I moved from not that long ago. I lived in North Wales for about 18 years and I miss Welsh food. So she brought me some Barra Breathe, which is just lovely. <laughs> Very happy. So that's coming over here. It's a really rich, shall I open it to show you what it is? So for those who are outside the UK, or actually to be fair, maybe even outside Wales who don't know what Barra Breathe is, it's... Um, Amazing. It is amazing. I hope the packet inside you can see through it. Yes, that's good. It's a beautiful, really rich, really rich fruit cake, but like nothing anybody else makes anywhere else. Nobody else can make barrel breeds apart from the Welsh. So... I'm so happy to have this. I actually screeched quite loudly when she told me what was inside. Okay, as so I have more gorgeous swaps, I think these are vouchers being cashed in. I'm fairly certain they are, and in which case they are going to pop out. Oh, do you know what? Shall I show you now? Ah, oh, no, this is a card from Bex. So, like I say, Bex was poorly, but she got her swaps to us. And goodies, this one I know is vouchers, so I'm going to save that for cards. Actually, no, I will bring it out now. Just don't let me forget to cash them in. It is. So, so this is, whoops, this is Heidi. 
So Heidi is Flutter by Heidi, and let me show you what she's made. That's I talked so long that the 30 minutes of my video cut out. So, so yeah, Heidi is cashing in a, a massive pile of vouchers, a massive pile, because each of these is worth £5. So that's a huge pile and they earn them for all sorts of things, sales and recruiting, doing more activity than the month before and they can save them up and spend them when they want, but that's a big pile to be cashing in. And that's the card. How brilliant is that? Amazing. So, don't let me forget to cash those in. <laughs> right, what else have I got down here? I've got, whoops, I've got a little box and I've squished it on the way home. Oh. Teeny tiny highlighters, how cool are they? That's the, I love the fact that we crafters don't have to rely on gift bags or anything like that. That's lovely. We can make our own bespoke bags. Doesn't matter what size. The thing is that you're gifting, you can make your own box or bag to fit it perfectly. So, Snowden Stamper is Wendy who bought me the Briar Breathe because she and her husband um, live in Snowdonia. And they actually have a cafe at the bottom of Snowden. So, I have a couple of these. So this is from Tracy who got me the big box, the big bar of chocolate at the start. They're amazing. And I have, I have a chocolate which I think has popped off one of Sophie's. And then there's five of these. for myself and for the boys and they've got oh they've got sweeties inside yum seriously the children do really really well we always have a sweetie table as well that's always full of sweets and things and you know you can go along and help yourself and stuff it never really brings you know a bag or two and that always comes home and kind of the boys say to me in one breath hi mum did you have a good time did you bring any swaps or sweets back you know, because they're boys and they're children. Because that's what they do. And then in here, so this is from Halsey. This has just popped open as I've picked it up. So let me just close it back up again. So this is from lovely Halsey, who hosted her event on Friday. And it was lovely to have an invite um, to go along. And then in there... Oh, that's beautiful. People walk through our lives but only true friendly footprints on our heart. What a lovely thing. Aww. I get terribly emotional at our events anyway because it's such a privilege to spend time with such amazing people. And yeah, I get all a little bit emotional. And then this is from Ivy who flew over from Germany. And she's put this and she's put this together. S-A-M, obviously spelled her name, her name Ivy. And then inside, so I've got chocolates and oh, white chocolate, beautiful card, <gasps> fanciful fragrance. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Little card in there, beautiful. There's still more in here. Chocolate and then oh look at her. <laughs> She's got me some rainbow clips. Goodness me. And then for my boys and for Chris. Cowtails. I don't know what cowtails are. I might not let Chris have his. Chewy caramel with a cream centre. And look at that, it was all packed into there. And she's crafted me my own initial, my own name. So if you could see the rest of my desk, it is covered. It is absolutely covered. I, I've got a, a two metre long desk, and I'd say the best part of two metres is currently covered. Amazing. What a real privilege it was to spend with the team. I announced to them where our next event is going to be. Um, and our next event, we have booked, um, we have booked out 
wait for it. Da -da 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 -da. That's meant to be a drum roll. The Alton Towers Hotel Conference Facilities and booked their themed suite bedrooms overnight. We are going to have a celebration. We are going to have a day full of crafting and love and fun. We're going to have a grand celebration dinner in the evening and then the following day they have a choice. They can either spend the day in the spa, which is at the Alton Towers Hotel, or a day at the theme park, which is the UK's best theme park, or they can have a day crafting with me, or a bit of all of it. So we are having a grand celebration next year. So I announced that to the team and we were, I was really excited. So quite a few months ago, I started working on this with Alton Towers to negotiate great rates for the sweets. I, I really do want to get the Coca-Cola sweet again myself, but actually I kind of fancy the chocolate sweet. All of the rooms are just amazing and incredible. So I started negotiating with them about room rates and hotel rates and also to book and we are um we are in the grand uh the grand state room or is it the grand ballroom I don't remember but we can hit seat a maximum of 122 so I have just announced that to my team and we're very excited and I will keep you all posted as to exactly when that is that's next year but you've got to be part of my team to be in it but on that note I'm going to say thank you and goodbye and I will see you very soon Bye.